Breaking news! Prodigy just released its third animated episode, and this animated episode is on the charfle. So without further ado, let's not waste another second and get straight into our video. Alright guys, I'm your host, Wonder Doctor Genius, and let's get straight to it. So when you log into Prodigy, the first thing which pops up in your face is FAMI Wizard Watch! And what does Wizard Watch say? Prodigy Pet Adventures snar Snarfuls. Prodigy Pet Adventures Charful Soggy Sandy Day. Watch this new episode and find Charful in Starlight Festival. Right, so let's click on the video and this happens. <laughs> 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 So as you guys can tell, this was a pretty interesting episode in Prodigy. I mean, first of all, we have the Charful over here, and this is quite interesting if you ask me, because it seems like that the Charful is building a sandcastle and she lost a seashell. So obviously what she's gonna do is, well, she walks over to the ocean to get a seashell. And what a better way to find seashells than make the ocean evaporate, you know? What a better way than to do that? Right, so here, as you guys can see, she sets the ocean on fire. I mean, not exactly on fire. She evaporates part of the ocean, and by doing that, she makes a tiny island around herself. And as we all know, condensation, evaporation, and precipitation happens in the real world. And of course, why wouldn't it happen in Prodigy? And here, Charful gets drenched, and the sand disappears. Now, of course, this ticks off Charcoal, and Charful gets angry and decides to set the clouds into blaze. Though, I'm not sure how that works, but okay. I'm pretty sure clouds can't set on fire unless it's lightning. What is lightning? Isn't lightning like plasma or something? Uh, you guys tell me in the comments. But as you guys can see, Charful proceeds to stand in the rain and then totally gets drenched there because she stood there and yeah. And now she notices that her sandcastle is being attacked by the rain and realizes that its structural integrity is being destroyed. So she gets angry again and decides to launch more fire into the sky. And of course, Charful's like, yeah, I got you. Wait, what? And then she gets drenched by all of the water which she caused to fall down. And now her castle is breaking even more. So it seems like she got angry. No fire. What? Am I so soaking wet that there's no fire? Tries to ignite fire with her hooves. Oh no! There's nothing which Charful can do to save her castle. And it's falling. It's dying. Ooh, a leaf. Let's see. What can I do with the leaf? Ah, I know. How about we put- okay, the music change here is so subtle. 
Hey, how about we put a leaf on top of this? And we can see how Sprout is like, what are you doing? Alright, so as you can see, it's splashed down on her castle. She gives up, unhappy, all of a sudden, bam, trees start growing. What? Nani? Okay, hello. Wait, I have one question. If Charful is made out of fire, how does she not ignite the trees around her? Like, seriously, how does that work? This is interesting, I can say. And now, if I go over some things, you guys might have noticed that in the previous episodes, you can see that the first episode contained Snowfluff and Woods, right? And then the next episode contained Woods and Mr. Snowfluff. So I believe that our next episode may be about Mr. Sprout, and Mr. Sprout may be ha receiving help from Snowfluff. Because in these battles, we can see that Snowfluff got helped by Mr. Roots when Mr. Roots stopped her snow his her its snowman from going off the cliff. Right, and then over here, Snowfluff saved Woots from being eaten by a plant. And in this video, it seems that Sprout saved Charful's sandcastle. So maybe uh, Charful will save Sprout somehow? Yeah. And then in the next video after that, I believe it may be about Mermina and Sprouts because that we saw in the very first video which Prodigy published. And right guys, so I theorize that the last episode will be about Mrs. Mermina. And when the episode about Mermina drops, I do believe that Starlight Festival will be ending soon after that. Because if you see, it seems like there's a week's interval between every episode. So basically this, um, what do you call it, Starlight Festival is going to be lasting for five weeks. Right? So from that, I can guarantee you guys that Starlight Festival may be over after the fifth episode drops after like one or two more days. Alright guys, so that's all for this video. Hope you did enjoy this. And if you guys want to see this series in full length, right, I'm going to play it for you guys. So we'll have the Ch Snow Fluff, Woot, and Charfuls episode. Alright guys, so that's all for this video. Hope you did enjoy this. And if you didn't, don't forget to smack ring that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. And enjoy the six minute episode. Take a peek into the world of the Prodigy Pets like never before. As Charful, Mermina, Snowfluff, Sprout, and Watt play, explore, and make new friends. The Prodigy Pet Adventures, coming soon. Oh! <gasps>